Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to day Z. Today we are going to start out on the server. I kind of want to try and see if I can build a, a base. I have like an idea for it. Uh, I've actually, I've come up with some idea which is basically just trying to figure out a way to hide my base away inside like an attic. Uh, I have a cool uh, building that's in the game which I have in mind so I need to first get, get it up. I need to get myself some gear. And then once I've got myself geared up, I can uh, try and get that base built, try and get some raids done. It's going to be a good one today. Now this airfield seems to be interesting. I've never really been on this airfield on this server. They've definitely modded it in a cool way. I have no idea if there are people here. Let me check these barracks real quick. Okay, I'm going to need to find myself some guns. This is not looking like a gun. Interesting. Mags, 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 mags. I hear the snap. Someone is shooting at this airfield and I found a gun. It's a pump action shotgun. Utah's. No shells, but I got a shotgun. I'm finding guns and mags now, that's good. This doesn't fit though. Someone's shooting zombies I think, because I keep hearing these snaps. So I doubt that there's no one here. Got a lot of plans to come, man. I gotta figure out where this guy is before I can actually move on to actually do my plans. Because right now it's just messed up. I need to figure out where it is. I mean, the snaps could be from both hills or ATC is also a possibility. That doesn't sound like a, a spot he couldn't be. I was thinking of going to the middle tents, but I, what I'm actually going to go do is I'm going to go into... Uh, that was a snap at me. Okay. I was going to say I'm going to go into ATC, but... This is so confusing because one time you can actually, like, you know for sure that you're actually getting shot at and then the other time it's just like, you could be shot from, it might not even be at you, you know, the guy, the shot might not even be pointing at you, but still, that was at me again. What is going on? Where am I getting shot from? Is it from behind me? What is going on, man? Hold on, I'm gonna quick clear this out real quick just to make sure you might be in here. Maybe it's two. Alright, so the only thing that would make sense is either that there's one on that hill, which is the big hill all the way over there. Or he's all the way on the other hill on the other side. Or both. There's probably both of them on both hills. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to loot these barracks. If I don't find anything significant, I'm going to go dip and I'm going to go inland, try and find this guy maybe on the hill. Or just go to the next military, because I cannot be bothered just getting snapped out all the time. Just a little bit, a little bit off. Yeah, okay, confirmed he's on that hill. Little camping. Little camping guy. Little just That's just the, the annoying players in Daisy, just silent stepping from the hill. What a little piece of shit, man. At this point I decided to move in a flank to try and find this guy on the hill. And the other possibility was that I would move inland. But I was caught off guard when I saw a heli crash on the ground with a bunch of zombies around it. Meaning it probably had not been looted yet. So I decided to take a risk and try and loot it. Man, fighting these zombies is not fun. I always get cut instantly as well, you know, like when you're, you're hitting a zombie. Instantly gonna get a cut. Alright, they're all dead now. Lovely. I say all, but there's still one left far further away. I'm gonna try and see if I can get all this loot on the heli crash, if there's anything left. Doesn't seem to be anything in there. Maybe on the outside here. Some clothing. Pretty much empty, I think. It's looted. BMC patch. This is this is a sad man. Just killed like ten different zombies just to get a heli crash loot, and it's just looted. Okay, so I couldn't deal with Krasn staff. So what I'm doing is I'm going and I'm moving inland towards Tizzy. I want to get to Tizzy because Tizzy usually has the best loot on most servers. And I'm gonna try and see if I can uh, manage to yeah loot Tizzy and come out alive. Maybe kill some people. Uh, just to get my loot up, because there's no way I'm going to be able to build a base without actually having uh, having some gear. So, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, so the interesting part is that I heard shots not too long ago. Uh, and I see these open doors, which is also not really a good sign. I hope it's not looted. If it's looted and he dipped, that's the least ideal. But if there's a guy here and I can catch him off guard and shoot him in his face, then that would be ideal. 
I see a gun over there. What is that? Is that... Oh, wait. It's the ACR. Thank God it's the ACR. Okay, let's see. The ACR is just... It's just a lovely gun. Let me grab that. Uh, drop in this gun. Because the ACR is just... Yeah, it just destroys people. It shreds. Now, I'm not gonna lie. There's not much going on over here. Except for the fact that there's a, a lot of zombies here. Which I'm just gonna beat up real quick. I'm not too sure why there's not much loot here. I think someone must have looted it. I did hear shots when I came here, so I think someone just came around and swooped all the loot away and ran. Uh, I did find a Tac-21 and M240 and some other nice loot. So it's not like I am uh, I'm completely a brokey, but at least I've I've got some loot. I'm just going to check these last tents, and I'm, uh, I've already got some base building supplies, so I kind of want to see if I can uh, get a base build. I got this locker, which is pretty cool. What is this? Oh, an M24... What the? This is what I mean, bro. This is what I mean. You play this this, this server and there's just no one. There's no one at all. You know, like you're checking the entire surroundings and there's no one. And then when you're just chilling and when you think everything's alright, you just get one silent guy out of nowhere who just taps you. Now, some of you might think that that was the end of the adventure, but it was definitely not. I just got a taste of how the server is played in terms of PvP, and I learned that I need to modify my strengths and qualities accordingly. So I loaded in again, and this time my luck was much better. This is a crazy base. Why, is it, why does it look like that? Why did he put... Oh, he's building. He's actually actively building. He's chopping down like a floor or a wall or something, or he's building one. Might hear me here though, that's the question. I know instantly that's me. Okay, we'll see. I don't know, he might have... He's blocked this all off. And... Hey, bud, how you doing? Hey, man, what's up? How you doing, bro? You good? Just spawned in, no worries. I just saw this this huge base. Looked interesting, to be honest. <laughs> it's not that big, dude, but it's, it's alright. How'd you get so many camo nets? Did you buy them? Yeah, I just farmed them up. We went to Northwest Airfield and stuff. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, dude, have a good day. So you too, bro. Take it easy, stay safe. Now, some of these encounters in Daisy are completely mundane and don't mean anything. But this encounter might mean something later into the story. Anyway, I moved inland with a new strategy to try and get some loot. And after checking some militaries, I moved in towards the King of the Hill, which was popping up at a town called Cabanino. I have arrived at Cabanino. The fight has begun for Cabanino. And there's a zombie. And there's five zombies there. Just gonna reload. I think I think I'll be fine to be honest. I think I'm just gonna have to chill for like a couple of minutes, and then we should be good, I guess. Just chill for ten minutes. Well, they're sh they're dead now. We got we got a couple more uh, more zombies I think around, but I don't think they're too close, or at least close enough to uh, to be relevant. I'm just looking out because the king of the hill is about to be captured in like five minutes or in like a minute. Uh, I've been sitting here for quite a while now, just waiting for the flag to reach the top. No one has uh, actually contested me yet, so I'm, I'm just looking to get the loot. If someone does contest me, I think it's uh, I gotta be ready to fight. Uh, but it should be good for now. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what's in there. That guy captured it. That's me. M200, nails, heavy vest, weed, whatever this stuff is. Oh my god. Okay. M200 is good. That looks good. Got ammo as well in it, and then we got the weed, and then we got the nails, which the nails are huge because the nails I need for base building, and I lost all my base building stuff. So that is uh, that is lovely. With all this newfound gear, I moved on towards the north because I wanted to build my base in Novaya Petrovka. However, I was stopped at the airfield because something caught my eye. Oh, oh, there's the people I was looking for. But not in the most convenient place, to be honest. I want to shoot it then, though. Oh wait, he's seen me. That is a little bit, a little bit sus, my friend. He knows I'm in here. Okay, that makes things a little bit harder. All right, so I moved out the ATC, and I uh, was looking for them, but I didn't see them. So they must have just ran past. They must have ran away. I'm not going to put myself in the open field just to get myself killed because this is, uh, this is going to be too greedy. Um, and since I have the stuff now, I've got books and nails and some other stuff. What I'm probably going to do 
is just move on to Novaya where I wanted to build. And I'm just going to go uh, and try and build, build my base, set some things up. Make sure some of my stuff is safely stashed away. And then I'll, I'll return for, for any people that need uh, a bullet in their skull. Well, here comes my issue. And that issue is that... Um, one, I can't open this door, but two is the main issue is that I'm, I want to find a building that has the attic. And I know Novaya has these buildings, um, but I think there's there's one particular building that I have in mind. And it's, I don't think it's this one. No, it's not this one. Because I want the attic or like at least like the top part of the building to be hidden away. So I can actually do some, do some slight changes to it and then make it fully hidden. I was thinking about the apartments, but the apartments are too open to do that. Like it's, there's no point in... in, in uh, getting the apartments. I want to get like these buildings right in front of me here, but three high. Uh, the ones with these stairs here to the side. You can see these stairs with the uh, with the bars, but I don't think they have them on this side, so I might have to go this side, and there might be something in town. Now, oh, this looks more like it. These buildings over here. This looks more like it. It's just like midtown, but I guess it's fine. You guys are going to want to see the end result. This is going to be good, guys. Make sure to watch the end result, because this is going to be there's no way this, the people are going to spot this. But uh, basically, I wanted to build here below the stairs, but unfortunately it's not possible since there's a door, you know. Uh, so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, up the stairs, up the stairs. And you have a little side room here, which goes around the corner around here. And this is where I've stashed my stuff. Um, but I think I can fit another door right here. I could fit a door right here and I could fit a door here and here and here. So I could fortify this whole building. But there's a trick, and I won't reveal it yet, but plan is to, yeah, first of all, live in the attic, because that's uh, the best way. And since I've seen these neighbors, and they don't seem to have a small base, and uh, that's kind of, like, scaring me off. I think, I don't know if I can see it from here, but there's also a base right over there on the apartment. So I'm kind of, like, sandwiched between these two huge bases. Um, but I, I, usually like, I usually like the PvP. I mean, people have been a little bit scared of me for some reason. They decided it's not um, not a good good idea to fight me. So every time I've seen people and they've seen me, it's just like they're just running or they're camping. So I think it's best that I just try and try and look for the PvP instead of uh, instead of hiding away. So instead of building a hidden base, I'm gonna build the base in the middle of a busy city. But I'm gonna try and hide it away in this room. Now I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with this window, considering that the window is very it's very open. I might have to use lockers to block off this window. Um, Obviously, the lockers make it so that you can't see what's going on. And I think that's the best, because if I would put a wall, then it's just way too obvious. And lockers usually uh, just give that, you know, house, like, feel, feel that it's a house that's natural. Uh, and it also could look like it's blocked off. So, you see how this door is blocked off. And you can also see on other houses, they have these blocked off windows with, with the uh, curtains behind them. So, what I want to do is I want to try and make my house look like it's a fake house. That's not actually... You know, not actually being used. I'm gonna try to hide it away from from the the big bases, uh, as well as this side. Uh, and then once I've got something in place, I can literally just add a door on this side, uh, and then we should be good. The only thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm trying to have to try and hide the flagpole. I'm probably gonna do it by just putting the flagpole right here, and because the flagpole's right here, it'll um, not go through the top, is what I'm assuming, because the building is quite tall. Uh, I don't think it'll actually face to the top, so that's just perfect. It's just a win-win situation. So I just need to figure out how what I can do with these um, these lockers or whatever I'm going to put in front of the windows. Uh, maybe a tent would work. I mean, maybe not in this position. Um, and then if I've got that finished, then I've got a pretty, pretty secret base in the middle of town. And I hope these guys are not going to realize. But first, I need to find the building material, so I'm going to be looking through town. That's why I've stashed. I've got the box of nails. Uh, I've got the metal wire, which I should probably stash away. Uh, I need like a base building saw. I need... Yeah, I've got four-way chaytac. I didn't even know I had that. That's actually for the M200. That's huge. Okay. So I got to work, and I looked around the entire town to get myself some base building supplies and hopefully some lockers. I was getting some luck finding some extra nails and other stuff that I would need to build the actual base, but I wasn't getting so lucky with finding the lockers that I was looking for. The lockers I needed were gonna have to be white to blend in with the windows and finding specifically a white locker was one of the hardest tasks I would have got. So instead I decided to come up with a different plan to cover up the windows which wouldn't look as obvious as possible. 
Alright, so I wanna... F I got the flagpole right now, right here. I wanna put it... I think I'm gonna put it, like, right... Be able to see the placement. I wanna put it... Just in the corner. I guess I'm gonna have to try it, because if it does just perfectly cover the flag... Then that would be ideal. The flag's already raised to the top. Now that brings up the question... Don't see it on this side, which is a good sign. Now the question is, am I gonna be able to see it on this other side? The answer to that is... No! Oh, I don't see it! That's just, that's just perfect. Okay, the flagpole secured. So we know for sure that this thing, uh... Yeah, look, the flag's in here. <laughs> then that's covered. We know that unless they go inside this house, they're not gonna see that. Right, so I've got the workbench kit right here. Alright, now the question is, where am I gonna put this workbench? Because I don't want it to look ugly, but I also want it to be functional, that it's not just, you know, put away in a corner. Wait, I have an idea. If I place this... What does the back look like of this thing? Okay. Now, do you guys think that if I made, like, five different workbenches and I put them above each other <laughs> to cover the windows, it would look legit, right? There's no way this is gonna work. I'm gonna try it out. Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, uh, it's gonna... It's not gonna work here, is it? Unless I do page down. Oh, it works. Okay, I'm gonna have to make more. I have planks. I, I got, like, 20 planks here. How have I even come up with this? How is this even gonna work? <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm gonna try this. If this works, guys, I've just, like, outsmarted the entire server <laughs> to cover this window properly. There's no way. I can do it for all these windows, too, man. If this works, guys, I'm officially the smartest player in Daisy. Okay, I just gotta make sure that that wood doesn't, doesn't show. But if I make three per window, it's gonna cost a lot of planks, but it's gonna be legit because no one's ever gonna... Wait... He render? No, it doesn't. Okay. So I just need to make sure that that wood is not showing. And then it almost looks like it's just a different part of the building. Oh! Rating lockpick. Question is, is that going to show through the actual other door? It's not. Look at that. How beautiful. Right, guys. This is the coziest hidden base ever made. Look at... <laughs> it feels so cozy. I need to put on the campfire. It's just weird that it the windows are like that. Okay, wait. Let me let me just put my, my ray tools away. My, my badly damaged saw, which just went through a lot of sawing. Go outside and have a look at this beautiful base. Flagpole, I, like I said, is obviously a little bit hidden, but hard to hide that away. But then, oh, that's obvious, isn't it? I need to fix that window a little bit, I think. That looks a little bit too obvious. I mean, it's not like, it's just because we're looking at it, right? If we're, if we're looking at this one, though, I think the, uh, the, wooden, the wooden thing is giving it away. If, it, if there wasn't a wooden thing, it wouldn't have been that obvious. It's also because the window is broken. Like, all these windows aren't broken, and this window's broken. It doesn't help it either. I might have to replace them so that you can actually not see the wooden things. If, I, if you can't see the wooden, then I would believe it. I think the wood in the middle is like, it's, it's just exposing the whole, the whole idea. And the left, the one on that side is the best, except for... Oh, wait, I need to layer them so that the... Window, what are they called? Like the bars of the window, basically. I don't know what the English word for that is, but the bars are basically behind the white other bars. If I can make make that happen, then it's basically fully covered. After the base was fully set up, I decided to go to Lepova to possibly do a bank robbery. But when I got close, there was some shots around, so I had to take a different approach. Alright, so I'm going to Lepova right now to try and see if I can get some sleeping bags, because I've heard they spawn here. Uh, but the only issue is that there was shots a couple minutes ago when I was far away. At least I thought they were here. So I'm a little bit um, aware of the fact that there might be someone here. I'm gonna have to be a bit a bit careful, but... Um, I 
don't know. I don't. I don't hear anything anymore. So it, it might have just been a zombie that he shot. Oh. Missed that. That's a headshot. He's dead. Yeah, I'm getting silenced. Okay, I knew it. I was about to run for that body, but I don't have uh, armor on. So yeah, that wasn't a smart idea either. Fine, I, sh I shouldn't have. I should have taken my M200 with me. Oh, he's, yeah, he's there. Sorry, right. he's, he's there in the back. So he's he's got a teammate. Uh, he might have more teammates. It's at least one guy. He's got like a black Gilliam. And he's all the way in the back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wide flank here. Try and see if I can get behind this guy because I need to... There's no way I'm going to win a one-on-one -on -one fight if we get close since I don't have any armor on. Now the question here is, is he inside a building? Did he run or did he move towards my side? If this guy saw me, he must have seen that I didn't have any armor, so he must have felt confident to push. Then how would he push? He would push to the left side, probably. Or would he be in a building? I mean, he might just be in the building overlooking that body. That's the question. You never know if, if, he's, if he's capable enough to know that I don't have any armor on and then push to the left side. But if he did push left, then he must be in that. Uh, building right in front of me here. This one. He must be in this building. I don't know. Is this a school building? I, I don't know what people call this building. Or he dipped to the trees there to the left, which is also a pretty good spot. But the big tower that you guys see, that big tower is not accessible to the top. That's what I know. So there's no way he's in that big tower in the top. So I don't have to be worried that I'm going to get sniped here. At least not from there. But he could be anywhere. I mean... What's a good spot on, the, on this place? I mean, I guess the police station is good because then you have, le like, you're, you're leveled. You have, like, a high ground. I'm kind of tempted as well to just go and try and check his body, but I don't know. I mean, knowing the server, like, the, with the experience that I've played on the server, I can tell that these, this kid is probably camping in a building, so there's no point for me to just keep running around. I'm going to have to just wait here. Until he he makes a move, because if I move, he's just gonna tap me. He's just gonna silence tap me from some building, and it's just the end of the day. I'm kind of just hoping that he gets greedy for his body, and he just tries to loot it and run, and then I can snipe him. But if not, then it's gonna be hard. I can also, I mean, I got a pretty good angle on this when I'm looking at the score. Wait, I see him. He's there. This foul scope is gonna be hard. Iron sight. He's a little bit too far away. He's at that house, though, so... I can unload this mag, I can load up my sniper that I just found. And I might be able to snipe him. I mean, he already went behind the house though, but... If he comes back, then I've got a pretty good angle from here. Just need to load this up. He's already gone, isn't it? He? Yeah, he's gone. So it's good to know, because that means he's on that side, because he, he can't go back since I've got an angle on that. So he has to be on the side with the... Uh, buildings there. The zombie is also aggroed there. So that also, this tree is just, oh, this tree is just in the way. I need to move out of this building, I think. I need to move out because if I stay in here, then I don't have, a right ang I don't have the, right, the right angle on this guy. ATV lost key event in Lepova right now. Are you joking? ATV lost key event in Lepova. And I'm literally standing inside fucking Lepova. This server just gets crazier and crazier for some, for no reason. Alright, so I've just checked the Discord, right, of this server, and he's posted in the, the, the owner's posted inside the, um, the channel that there's an event here right now, and that there's a key with an, of an ATV with, like, some ray tools and a secret, like, kit loadout, which you can find. Protective case for the mule ATV and escape with it and the goodies inside, Lipova. Now, it's got fully kitted stuff and everything, so it's going to be worth finding it. But the question is, where has he put it? And the moment I start moving around, I feel like there's a high chance that I'm going to get absolutely destroyed. Alright, might be in this building. The question is, is it in here? 
No, not in here. I have a good angle on the hill, though. Oh, wait. There's a guy there, isn't there? Yeah, look. Right there. He's, he's walking towards. Oh, no, wait. What? Wait. Now, this dude's gonna have some explaining to do, because how do you... He was running straight towards me, right? And then I aim at him, and then he goes back to the tree line. There's no way he can see me in here. So, this dude is a little bit sus. I don't really want to take shots because my caliber on the sniper isn't too high and he's also zigzagging so the chances of me actually hitting the bullet is also very slim. And then there's also people behind me which I gotta be wary of because if I shoot then I'll reveal my position. He's taking shots now but what is he shooting at? He's right there. I don't feel safe peeking in this building really but... So he, he hasn't killed anyone because the kill feed doesn't show any kills. Why does he shoot randomly then? There must, he must have seen someone and shot at him. Must have just missed. I'm just looking for the screw. I mean, if it's in the in the building... It can't be in the police because I checked the police. Uh, search and defuse. What is this? this <laughs> How are all these events spawning on me? There's an event spawning on me with an ATV key, which is apparently like a server event. And then we've got the search and defuse, which is basically like a King of the Hill event. And they're all happening at the same location. Next is going to be an airdrop or something, I guess. I'm just going to keep checking on these buildings and I might actually find it. That's the question. This is the only one level building. Maybe up here? I don't know. No, it doesn't seem like it. Wait, where's that zombie aggro? Zombies aggro? There's a dude somewhere. Where's he at? Oh, he's there. Oh, you're joking. The freshie came back. And grab this loot. It's the same guy that I killed when I got here. He managed to get back and grab his loot. So that means that either no one is holding the body. Or the body was being held by um, his teammate. And his te or his teammates. Yeah, like they must have been still here. Or they weren't here at all. And I just didn't even grab the loot. It's either one of the two. But it's a bit of a shame to be honest. Like he, just, he just literally grabbed his kit back. So he's, he's back alive now. That's, that's a shame. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's just a little bit too far away. Let me just angle it right so at least I've hit the first shot. Is he going to the right again? Sneak up to him. Come on, zombie. Why do you have to aggro me right now through the tree? Come on. That was not needed. Of course I get a cut from punching the tree. This is this game. It is sometimes, man. This guy's flank does not make any sense whatsoever. I don't understand it. Why would you... Why would you flank in the open field and then go back to the right and then... Go back into Lepova? What is that? What is that? Like, why? He didn't even know I was aiming at him. So how does he... Why does he go back? I don't get it. Oh, he's, in, he's in that building next to me. I just don't know if he's like in the top floor. What is this? for C4 explosions. It's some sort of raid tool, I think. I don't think it's the, the crate I'm looking for. But he's in that room. That's him. That's his head. I don't think I hit him. I don't think I, I think I missed. I'm going to have to push now. He's above me. He's above me. He's above me. This is not good. I'm gonna have to push, right? Because his friend is gonna push me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, he's gonna push out the outside. Oh, I'm so fucked now. He's going outside. That's two or three of them. It's three of them. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Yeah, that was so dumb. Why did I push that like that? I, I should have pushed him upstairs, but I just knew that I didn't have any armor and I had to I had to do something. Otherwise, they would have pushed me like this regardless in the other house. So it's just like the moment I shot is kind of where I fucked up. But I, if, if I actually had shot him, I had him and then it would have been a 1v1. And for the first moment inside this adventure, things would take a turn. I would stop dying and I actually found something useful. Because as a fresh spawn, I decided to run towards my base from the coast. And when I was doing that, I ran across Severograd. And in Severograd, I noticed a little base. 
So I tried to see what was going on, and I noticed there was a guy literally standing inside his loot room. But I'm definitely using that barrel to, to raid his base in a second. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out an angle where I can sit. Where it's not too obvious, but where it does work. That barrel is not there for no reason. Oh, he's out. Is he leaving, or is that a different guy? Wait, he's on the roof. Is that a different dude? It's such a shame that I don't have the guns right now, man. If I had a gun right now, I could just bop him in the face and take his whole base at the moment. I mean, there's a reason that the barrel is there, that's for sure, so. What's he doing? He's listening, isn't he? Oh yeah, so he's not- he's trying to use that barrel to go through, but it does- it's not working. The barrel won't do it, he needs to get like a campfire or something to get through. But then again, I saw a dude open up the, uh, the front door, it might not be him. He's trying to do something with that barrel, but it's not working because the barrel, uh, like it phases you through the barrel. He can't jump, he has to crawl through, but he needs like a tent or an, an actual player boost. He can easily get into this base, I can guarantee you this is like a, the freest base of all time to boost into. But I'm just not sure if the... that... What is he doing? Is he trying to land on the barrel? As you can clearly see, my prey had been spotted and the only thing I needed is a gun to actually shoot him in the face. So, I decided to call up some friends of mine. Some old friends that could help me out on this raid, that I could possibly join. So, we decided to join up in a call and we decided to take a look at this base for what it actually was. Now, I decided to go close inside the space and I decided to wait and hear what they were doing, just in case they decided to start building. And before my friends arrived, they actually did start building. Oh, he's building, he's building, he's building. He's bu oh wait, he's probably building up that wall to cover up the window. I can't have that. I'm, I'm gonna like, fucking push him. He's hit. He's hit. I don't know if I'm gonna. No, no, only five, five, six. I've got. They've backed up. They've backed up. I won't allow them to build it, so. You have to see. All I know is that we're gonna need a hatchet. Okay, for some reason, it did not, like, let me see him. Now at this point, you might be wondering, Sid, didn't you say this was a turnover point in a video? Didn't you say that you were about to win this? Well, I technically did. Because at this point, my teammates had arrived at the location and actually were doing some damage. Another one's just left. Nice. Oh, good shot. Should I try and get it, get his loot? Is that, yep. is that smart? Uh, yeah, we can keep an eye on. Right, I'm losing him, I'm losing him. I'm checking out, he might be up the hill, I got the vest that's badly damaged, I got the nade. He's got an arsenal under on him as well, so that's good. Nice. Um, Great. Yeah, that's a pretty good upgrade. Checking my body real quick. My sword rifle, oh it's destroyed as well, yeah, no. Okay, um, we can try and boost through their windows, but I think it might not have the same access. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's have a look. Is this boost even possible since the updates? Because we're not allowed to use two people, so we have to jump yeah, over they, you. They say you can do one man boosting, but I've never seen, I've never been able to do it with with links. Oh, oh, here we go. He can't get through the window. No way they've patched it. You can, you, you should be able to. Damn, that's a shame. It's just not. It's not. It doesn't allow me to get through the window. I know you could do it, so it's weird that you can't do it anymore. Maybe they've patched it, though. Unfortunately, those windows weren't actually as boostable as I thought. I know you could do it on the other side, but I think the window that we saw was simply just too small to boost through. And this led us to move towards Novaya, back to where my little base was. But on the way to do a checkout in Novaya, we ran into some people. Now, first of all, we had a guy sniping at us from a window in one of the big apartments. Now, the guys that I was with, that I now joined, told me that these guys had been raided, and by them. The guys that I was with raided this base last night, and the guys inside were not happy. So instead of waiting there and sitting outside, we decided to move on. And that is when this happened. Oh! oh. It was how that you done this. Yeah. Right here in the tree line. It's at me. Open shots. He's running still in the tree line here. 
One dead. I don't see him. Yeah, another one on the tree line. Another one. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. He's far. I killed the guy close. He's got a beard or something. He's nice. dead. Good job. Good job. But there's one more. There's one more. One more. There's one more. Oh, there's I see him. I see him. I think. Yeah, he's behind this tree prone. He's trying behind this tree prone. Which Kill one? them. It's another one. It's another one. On my ping. He's Are running to the dead? left. Running to the left. Who's dead? Knight's dead. No, 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 no. Nobody's Who's dead. dead? Okay. No, no, I killed someone. He's running to the left from my ping. Okay. He might have run. Right, I'm gonna grab this guy's M200 because I've got the R700. I had to headshot on both to make sure they were dead, but... There was a guy... There was a guy with a ghillie suit. The guy I killed. I think he had a 50 cal. Yeah, this dude on me does too. He's got M200. Oh, he's kitted. He's like... To the roof. It's like the top tier loot. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure where I killed him though. At this point, we killed some people and we weren't sure which clan it exactly was. But the information that I gave them that this clan next to me in the church was possibly the clan that they were looking to raid... Things changed. They immediately wanted to get their raid tools and that was what our plan was. Going back to their base to get the raid tools and wiping these guys out. So that's what we did. We went to their base, all went inside the car, took all the stuff we needed to raid, got all the C4 that they grinded for, and they decided to hit that base. And since I was with them, now we decided to raid this base together. After all this time going at it as a solo, I realized that the only way to do it was with a clan, with a big group, and this would finally be the big win. So in case I die, the key is in the pouch, in my pouch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, pouch within a pouch. Yeah, mate. The key Maybe. is in the pouch, in the pouch. <laughs> yeah, they always forget that, mate. Yeah, in, the, the, in the pouch, in the pouch. Hey, listen, hey, listen, listen. Hear about this one. The key is inside a teddy bear, inside a pouch, inside a pouch. Yeah, yeah, I did it yesterday. <laughs> How about this one? Oh. The key is inside a teddy open. bear, inside a protective case, inside a pouch, inside pouch a pouch. In the pouch? I don't think that works. The oh, the windows are open. Is hidden inside yep, Pitkin's yep, yep. asshole. Okay, interesting. That's that's not nice. That's not nice. You're, you're gonna start about at 7 inch? Well, enough of that. The point is that we were basically about to raid, and I decided to use my little base over here, just as a quick point, to snatch the C4. Now, this base was about to despawn, because this base wasn't owned by me anymore, considering that I left my own group. But I still could use the barrel as a stash point, considering that this space was hidden enough for people to not to find it. And since the flagpole was disappearing as well, no one would ever be able to find this space unless they actually looked inside this corner. And that was the great idea of this base. Now, the raid was about to start, and as you can see right here, I was about to grab the C4 and we were about to get the boom boom on the door. Right, the base was like this a couple of days ago when I checked it out, but the only difference is that there's now a bunch of like dismantled walls here. And there's also, um, yeah, two extra half walls on the side. I'm not too sure what's going on over here. It might be like a garage, but dismantled or something. The reason I'm asking is, is this... I mean, we're not going to raid this and there's going to be fucking nothing in here. And there has to be, right? There's bases raided all over the place. There's a raided base in the piano over here. There's a raided base by you guys yesterday. Oh. You guys know anything about that piano base at all? It's like half raided, half built. No. Yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, I don't know, it might be a possible counter as well. Right, where's the front door? Front door should be uh, on where the front of the church is, but the on back. the side. If you know what on I mean. Me. On the me. corner. It's on me. Yeah, so the, yeah, the front door's there, so if you're just place to see for this. This ledge is weird though, like why would they have this? Someone must have came around and greased their, their whole garage then. If it was a garage, I'm assuming it was. But these floor, this, these are floors, so we can't do anything to these ones. Um, the church space does look interesting, to be fair. And I will buy people possible though. Look at this. This uh, roof is sloppy built, you see? And then uh, the wall is built... What is it? A wall or a window? Ah, that's a wall, shit. If I boost you here, can you come up? I tried it. I tried it, but it doesn't... Uh, I tried it with, like, a backpack, but it doesn't let me... It's not something, like, you can jump on. Oh. It doesn't let you vault on there. They built a new base, a, a tree just fell down over here. Yeah. I just what? fell. Yeah, oh, yeah. Guys. Just oh, guys. Wait, so he was chopping on a tree. Look at yeah. this. Maybe this works. Hold on. Is there hold on. a guy there? Uh, hang on, hang on. There might be a play around. Yeah. Where? Any, is, is, it, is it the tree in oh, town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that it's down, but I just don't see. 
Did you see it fall, or is it just yeah, up? Yeah, I, I, I saw it fall. Okay. How are they building, mate? There's a guy on it. There's a guy chopping it down. <laughs> Dead. Mashed oh, potato. What? That's right here. Yeah, bro. That ghillie does bits on oh, the tree. That ghillie was said. so invisible. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, mate. I'm, I'm trying to... He's probably getting to the base of the hacksaw again. He's He's got a bunch of building stuff. He's got all their nails and stuff on them. And planks and stuff. That's weird, man. He must be living in this space then. There's no other way. That's crazy. Is this not more than one player boosting now? No, because you get on one player, that's me. You just use another player to get on me. So then it's a one player boost. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, bro. Sounds, no. sounds, like, sounds like a technicality to me, mate. Oh, uh, uh, oh there's a guy, guy, guy. Right here on the hill. Where? Right here on the hill. This one behind this tree, this one behind this tree, trying to flank on us. Okay. Geared, 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 like N200. Probably gonna be on this house. Right on the on behind the tree. Okay. Right there behind the tree. Just missed him. Someone else shooting, guys. That's me. Are you running a VSSK? Right, yeah, on, 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 on the barn, on the barn, on the barn. Yeah, yeah. He's on the back side. Left side, left side. He was. A second, are you running a bird of VSSK? No. That light is right. somewhere else. Mate. Dead? Give me one sec, I'm gonna take his backpack. At the, he must be alone, otherwise, I gotta be quick. Uh, hold on, take his bag. Oh, it's destroyed. Player, first. player running, player, player running away. Ping him. On the hill, top of the hill, pings, north. I thought it was a fucking bush. Just missed him. He's to the left now, up the hill. Which hills? North. Oh, ping on there. the ping, yeah, yeah, north. But he was—he was already looking at us. Like he already ran away because he already seen that we aimed at him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at least the second C4 or no, third C4 is gonna blow up in a sec. So we're gonna be three doors in of the of the seven, I think, or uh, ten, I think you can have. Oh wait, it's open. There's a staircase here. Might be roof access. Hold up. I don't hear anyone, I'm full sending it up here. Uh, guys, there's a tier 3 door on the church itself. Yeah, we need to blow that up too, we're, we're like 3 doors in. The f the, oh my, full the roof, flag full is roof inside the, uh, the church. Well, yeah. Nasty ass base. The base is bad, I mean, you got the, the, the peaks, you know, the little peaks, and then if you spot someone, you can then open up the uh, the windows. So I mean, you gotta see someone through the, spot them through the, the, the gap. They have all the, the windows, windows though. Yeah, the windows, yeah. So they open up the windows after they spot someone. Exactly. And then they kill him. So that's that's easy, because then you don't have to expose yourself fully when you're peeking. That's OP. They've even got an angle on that tree. <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. There's M240s here. That's good. No, I, I dropped them. Those were the ones oh, that... Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those were the ones that I oh, I got from the other guy. I'm killing those two. Let's drop them here. Ironic how they all have... We all have, like, almost the same oh, kit. Shit. It's, like, the best kit on the server, and everyone's running the same... 4C4, beam, bam, boom, bop. I'm hand bugged, guys. Can anyone tie me up? I gotta gotta fix my hands because my gun's gonna, gonna be bugged. I'm gonna be bugged. Hold on. Someone needs to turn Probably the other clan. Let the fun begin. What is he trying to say then? Wait, is it. They might be pushing. It's mashed potatoes. It's a guy. Light, yeah, it's the guy. Yeah, it's the guy yeah. I killed. So they're. Oi! Inside? There's someone in the base. Someone just spawned up. I'm, just locked in. I'm shooting ghost bullets. I'm shooting ghost bullets. I'm dead. Yeah, they said let the fun begin. That's lovely. So there's one clan actually like calling the other clan that they're being raided, so they're coming in to log in, and then I'm fucking shooting ghost bullets. Nice. How the fuck did he get up there? He must have logged in, and then the only way he could know is because the other guy told him, and that's the guy who we killed, and he heard the C4, and he heard you, you so know. Okay, that's inside information. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. They just they, they communicated. They just told them to log on because they're being raided, definitely. But the raid is definitely not finished, because this raid is gonna last until we get through that base, or until we get completely destroyed, and it's either one, and we're not settling for anything else. Now, unfortunately, it's not really allowed on the server to 
team with two teams, two groups that team up to defend the raid, it's not allowed. So this call, and if they push outside, then it would not be allowed. So we decided to go back with some drama and chat, obviously, and uh, we decided to try and see what we could do and finish this raid. But at this point, we realized that we would possibly be fighting two clans rather than one. Now, as you might have seen, on this server you have sleeping bags, and we use our sleeping bags to get back to this fight and this raid fairly quickly. So that's why we're already back at this base, ready to fight. That's them shooting, is it? Yeah, it's from inside the base. Uh, he's shooting an M107, I think. I think it sounded like one. I'll just keep running here, hoping that he uh, takes a shot at me. I'm holding this side on uh, over here. I don't know what's this side. Oh, the there. north side he's of the enough. church. Going left? Oh, left. Shoot, guys, shoot. Ball banger. He might be over here now. Yeah, yeah, he's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, right, he's right past. Ball he's in the corner. Guys. I'm, I'm yeah, trying, I'm trying to. see where they are, bitch. You can't just shoot through the fucking walls. He's there. I can't see him, though. I can't see him. He's in the gap, he has the gap there. He's using the gaps, but if you see him, don't be afraid to wall bank, because I think it does wall bank. If I'm not mistaken, I should wall bank on the bench. server. I just saw them, I just missed them. Tried to wall bank, didn't work, maybe I just missed. He ran though. How many do you think uh, is up there? I mean, uh, if he's like running around there, we can push, right? I think it's only two, one guy. It's either one or two. I'm 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 settling for two okay. people. Wait, is, he again? is he? There's, there's at least two on guys because there's only uh, score K4 and Psycho. So there's yeah. at least two. Okay, we can push it. Did he came out? No, no, he's opening hatches. He's opening their hatches and they're shooting at me from their hatches. You guys are gonna have to help me here. I'm kind of stuck in this corner here. Just Come look on. at the hatches. Pick at the hatches. Watch out. He's on the other side of the building now, so what's uh, nice? Yeah, I'm back. I'm back in position. I made it safe, back safely. So I'm I'm chilling now. See if I can see anything through the bottom, but nothing's broken through. There's, there's two. They both ran that way. I'm seeing. I see him. I see him. One's dead. One's dead. Nice. 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 Should we push now? Yeah, push, push, guys. You want a suicide nade, bro? Suicide nade. Oh. Yeah, shall I sh You want me to suicide nade? Yeah. Then you yeah. 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 You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. Just be up there, right? Don't focus on not getting hit, just run up there. Yeah, just bolt that's, it up that's there. The, that's the plan. Back okay, he was right on me, he's on the first stairs. He didn't blow. No. Did it kill him? I don't no. think so. I, don't, I didn't see anything in kill feed either. Didn't hear him drop. But you have to push, he's fresh, he has no armor. You sure? Okay, let's push. Just be careful though, don't fully... Open. Yeah. He said twice with the 308. Up this ledge, okay. He was fresh. He didn't is he, have is he in which corner is I he? I hit him twice with the 308. Yeah, he's hit. No, no, he was oh. pushing me. Yeah, but was he? Was he? So I, I, I want to push him, right? But I don't want to brainlessly. Okay, I'm going to throw the nade, okay? I don't want to brain. Like, we had a brain push up there. I don't know which, what he's speaking. Okay. I throw it on the left corner. Or on the right corner, depends how you look at it. You know. You died from there, so he must one. be he must be on that. I'm gonna throw the second one then. Or you got the other one. I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding. Throw Let's it then, cover. bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm covering. Go for it. Oh that side, yeah, good shot. Yeah. Maybe now. I didn't hear him drop. Thing. What about this bit? It might be all the way in. I don't know where he's at. Like, there's no, there's no good call on if he's left or right. So I can't really like peek him from any side. He's he's hit hard though. That's for sure. So you, so then one can push left and one can push right, right? Or is it not that that, that simple? No, it's not that simple because it's a one, it's, it's one stair and he could he could just be shooting us both. There's people yeah. outside the base, bro. There's people outside. They're pushing in. Bushes. It's two people pushing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got one. Nice, good job. Nice. One more, one more. Mash don't know where. That's noob. Nice. That's noob. I got sniped, I don't know where. Yeah. yeah that's taking it now. One inch Oh, it's the other clan. Fuck that shit. That's cringe, bro. That is cringe. Two clans at the same that's time. Bullshit. They're actually doing it. They're not even like saying it in chat. They're actually doing it now. 